Hey, my uh, host, Bob Eubanks. Uh, we are here. We are here. Um, we're here with uh, a couple of a bachelor and a bachelorette looking to find love, and we have uh, some. Uh, we've got some great bachelors and bachelorettes for them to find it with. Um, and I will uh, introduce uh, the bachelorettes right now. First, uh, to my right, bachelorette number one is a member of the fallen angel population has recently moved to New York City to search for the truth on who killed her family and why. She recently learned she could be she could be who the legend of fake prophecy speaks of, but is unsure what that could mean for her life. Uh, in the meantime, she just needs a date. Please welcome Sky from Tamsin Silver's novel Sky of the Dam and the Web Series. Bachelorette number two was a recent graduate of the prestigious Harmswood Academy in Nocturne Falls, Georgia. She originally hails from that town in Northern Virginia where 99% of the population turned into weir shifters of their totem animal in 2012. Kind of a hairy mess, I think. Uh, Natalie is one of the 1% who remain totally human, which she's fine with as she's used to not fitting in. Um, she's very active in the drama club, loves costume parades and giant boots, and enjoys playing drums in her brother's stupid garage band. Meet Natalie Bowen. And bachelorette number three is a BVAC scientist who solves plagues on her spare time. She's a, from a pariah planet, but flew in just for a good day. Meet Rady from uh, Welcome to Outcast Station. And our uh, first bachelor uh, for this evening, um, Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm a uh, mountain boy from Colorado. I like science fiction, fantasy, and a good time. <laughs> all right, and that's really what it's all about, a good time, isn't it? All right, so... Uh, in order, to 10, right? Oh, yeah. In order to uh, get this started, um, bachelorettes, uh, let's go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, say hi to uh, our uh, bachelor, Mark. Bachelorette number one. Hey, Mark. How you doing? I'm doing well. Number two. What's up? What's up, what's up? And number three. Hey, Mark. Hi. <laughs> All right. And uh, here's why I'm going to turn it over to you, Mr. Uh, bachelor. Uh, what do you want to know from these fine ladies? So, I, I, I am a man of science, but I'm also a man of God. So, bachelorette number three, can you tell me which one appeals to you more? science, <laughs> oh, man. You know, germs. Can you hear germs? <laughs> I don't think they're maxed out. Oh, that's all right. I can help. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say I, that you have a big mouth, Bachelor number three? I do. <laughs> Always help. So, I, I do like hearing a girl scream. Let's touch on that a little bit. <laughs> no no touching without consent. So, 
Maybe a snow leopard. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do like to pet the kitty. <laughs> Bachelorette number two, um, do you like it uh, straight out of the can or with a spoon? And of course, anyway, I see those looks. We're talking about whipped cream. Yeah, I was really confused. So I guess I have that. Uh, totally straight out of the can, yeah. Absolutely. Bachelorette number one, same question. Out of the can and doing some art. Uh, oh! <laughs> and ten points for the one person in the back who got that shit. <laughs> Bachelorette number one, do you like finger painting? Oh. <laughs> 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 Real paint, or are we talking edible body paint? Now, if we're talking edible body paint, <clears throat> I love how you I'm down. Uh, as a scientist, Bachelor number three, um, I've, I've heard that chem lights are non toxic. Is that true? Absolutely. Chem what? Chem lights. So, chem light is, comes in a tube. You break it, mixes two chemicals. If you cut the end, you now have glow in the dark body paint. That's exactly right. You can write love notes with it, people. Come on. In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> and a little bit of science from our sponsors. <laughs> so, Bachelorette number two, can you describe our our first date? Totally. We would go see Shakespeare and then have a picnic in the cemetery. <laughs> would be awesome. In the cemetery. Interesting. Yeah. Bachelorette number three. Well, we'd have to go out to the station and put on our spacesuits, but we could take a spacewalk. That would be super fun. Super fun. What else can you do in a spacesuit? <laughs> <laughs> Do they make spacesuits for two? <laughs> Opportunities abound. Bachelorette number one. What what is your favorite type of finger food? <laughs>
Aiden and I have swords and we tend to fight. We, we're not supposed to, the Fae are supposed to make sure we don't let anyone see us, but we have a tendency to get a little heated and have some sword play out in the park. Sword play is always fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor at number three. Most embarrassing thing I've done in public? Most daring. Oh, daring thing I've done in public. I was going to say, embarrassing is a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Probably get out of my hazmat suit in the middle of the plane drill. Wow. Oh, that's and what were you wearing? <laughs> Too. So there's one time, my brother was supposed to be in the battle of the bands, he played the drums, I played way better than him. Um, but he's a wear slug, and like, the room was full, and he couldn't get up. So, I substituted, but I couldn't fit into his pants, because he's like, super tiny, and I'm not, so I just didn't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't wear pants? No. We, we, we didn't win. So that that's an excellent question. Springs to mind. Springs? Springs. <laughs> Bachelorette number one. Do you wear PJs when you sleep? So I used to work at Hooters. <laughs> I mean, I don't anymore. Fine, I'm now a bartender. Not much better, let's be honest. Um, so I have these old hoodoo shorts, the black ones out there on the those ones are hideous. Um, so I have a tendency to sleep in those and in the t-shirt, yours, mine, it doesn't really matter, just a t-shirt. Unless, of course, it's, you know. That sounds comfortable. <laughs> Bachelor at number three. You wait, said... see, I work on a space station. Oh, oh, just wait, just wait. <laughs> so, you're on a space station. Yeah, don't, no premature stuff now. <laughs> we don't want to don't don't go early. So, on a space station, I assume there's no gravity. In of spots. There is. Of course there is gravity on a space station. In spots. In most spots. There are spots that don't have gravity. So, what's the most adventurous thing you've done in Zoom? Work out. Work out. So, you like to get sweaty? <laughs> <laughs> Sweat just like flew away, you know? Yeah. That's <laughs> way <laughs> okay. Bachelor at number two, you said you like to uh, handle sticks and beat on a drum. What yeah. else do you like to do? Have picnics in the cemeteries and go watch Shakespeare. <laughs> What's your favorite play? Probably Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah, Puck is awesome. I got to play Puck once. Yeah, I like Puck too. Tricksters are fun. All right, uh, Bachelor, are, uh, are you getting close to making a decision here? I, I think I have. Okay. I'm gonna go with Bachelorette number one. Yeah. All right, so uh, the, the Bachelorettes that uh, you did not choose, Bachelorette number two, uh, tell, tell us something about you. Go ahead and tell us who you are, who you were playing, and tell us about your work. You're asking me as Alethea now? Yes. Oh, okay. Alethea. Right. Oh, right. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Bachelorette number two is I'm an actress. You've got to tell me whether or not I have to be in character. No. You are, you are now free to, to be yourself. I'm Alethea Contis. Uh, I was playing Natalie Bowen. She appears in the book When Tinker Met Bell, which was nominated for the Dragon Award last year. Because it's bloody amazing! <laughs> so good! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's set in a small town that's like Halloween. 24 hours a day to mask the fact that like werewolves and witches really exist. And when I was asked to write in this world, I said, oh, and it's a small town in Georgia, by the way. And when uh, I was asked to write in this world, I said, you know, I grew up at Dragon Con. I totally know how to write this. <laughs> so yeah, Natalie was just, Natalie and Sam, her brother, um, 
They were side characters, but they totally jumped off the page. I, I loved her a lot, so I brought her here tonight. Thank you. Hey, back, back to at number three. Uh, Jean, uh, why don't you tell us about yourself and your work? Hi, I'm Jeannie Adams. I write urban fantasy, paranormal, romantic suspense, and I write space opera with my friend Nancy Northcott. And I brought with me tonight Ravanisha Trentham, who is the PhD plague scientist on the station. Tamsin, uh, you want to tell everyone about yourself and your work? And, and ditch the wig? What do you think? Hi, everybody. Hi, <laughs> Woo, now I'm back to me. Uh, hi, I'm Tamsin Silver, and I write urban fantasy and historical fantasy. Um, I was playing Sky McKenna. Sky is the main role in Sky of the Damned. Um, it was a web series that came out in 2013 that I wrote and directed and produced, because um, all the hats. Um, so I put that into a book that came out in June here, um, and then the second book in the series, Hope of the Damned, came out this past Sunday, and yay for Amazon Prime, it's two-day shipping, you can pretend you're not the author. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and, um, and you can watch the web series online for free through my website, uh, tangentsilver.com, or you can go to skyofthedamned.com and see it there. Um, other than that, um, I dabble in the world of Billy the Kid, and uh, spend a lot of time out there, and uh, I think that's okay. trying to get your website. All else. right, yeah. Any, anywhere else that uh, they need to find you? Um, so there's going to be a panel here at 11 30 called Winking Beasties. I'm moderating. You want to be here. <laughs> um, on top of that, pun intended, um, uh, I have my first sci fi short coming out. Um, there's going to be I'm sure people have heard of the Storming Area 51. Okay, so Storming Area 51, uh, there's going to be an anthology that same day, and I have a short in that called The Trip Home. That'll come out on the 20th of September when some people are going to think they can storm Area 51. Do it! Lydia, where can everyone find you? Like here at Dragon Con. Tomorrow I will have. Uh, Basically, 30 seconds of shameless self promotion. Woo! Go. Tomorrow I will be at my friend Kit Steele's booth in um, Pop Art Alley, that's the fourth floor of the American Mart, all the way in the back by the escalators. So um, I will just kind of share her booth and sit there for a while because I don't have any books. And I will have some books for sale online. You can find me everywhere, especially patreon.com slash Princess Alethea. We have so much fun. So I would love for you to join. Um, you can find me on the web. Uh, you can find me tomorrow morning on the panel uh, in the Urban Fantasy track. And um, if you're in the Maryland, Virginia area, I'm teaching my body disposal for workshop, body disposal for writers workshop in September and October. Really must be I'm not doing it tonight. They've never invited me to do a dragon con. Body disposal for writers is fun. Uh, and these books, by the way, up here, I am, I, they're for sale, if you are interested in getting either of them in print. All right. Thank you, Bachelor. Thank you. 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 That's great. Uh, uh, give me a second while we reset. Yes. Very <laughs> 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 
So let's do it one more time. Da 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 Bachelor number one uh, is the Bachelor number one is the Sentinel of Order and God's unchecked hand on the world. Uh, he's most easily recognized by his blazing green eyes, incessant pop culture references, and complete lack of directional awareness as he tries to, tries to find his way to love. Uh, please give a warm welcome to Kellen Caulfield Thorne um, from the Sentinels of Creation series. Bachelor number two is a uh, water phoenix who's trying to defend Atlanta from a dark fairy invasion. Uh, keeping a fairy war quiet is a full-time job, complicated when death and rebirth means sneaking by a dozy landlady. Uh, but he still has time for love. So please welcome uh, Quayla uh, from Ashes of uh, Raging Water. And bachelor number three is one of the fastest guns around which gives him a leg up when the lead starts flying. Hopefully uh, you're not too fast uh, going off there. Um, he's faced off against the Night Stalker, Chinese assassins, and at least one vampire, but he promises to be on time for his day. Uh, please welcome Mr. Jake Lasseter from the Blood War Chronicles. Uh, and uh, our uh, contestant today is uh, Miss Duchelle. Would you like to tell the group uh, a little bit about yourself? Um, well, I also come from Colorado, so I'm a mountain girl, just like Mark Stalin was. Ah! And um, I am here for one reason only, and I am looking for love. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, All right. say I do well the bachelors. Let's, let's... <laughs> Actually, this is, this is me. Uh, bachelor number one, uh, say hi to uh, our bachelor. Uh, bachelor number two. How you doing, Dada? I'm doing very well. Thank you. And bachelor number three. Howdy, man. You are the prettiest little filly I ever saw. Uh, I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to start with some really easy questions just to kind of get to know you all. I like easy. Absolutely. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words, and this is for all of you, starting with bachelor number one. Three words. Loyal, ludicrous, and loving. <laughs> I like all of those. <laughs> bachelor number two. Literal, literal, literal. Fluid, flexible, and wet. Flexible. <laughs> your perfect kiss for me. And remember, you can't use a word that another contestant uses to describe their kiss. Starting with bachelor number three. Two words. Long and hot. Ooh. <laughs> Long is my last name. <laughs> I like it. Bachelor number two. Dark chocolate. Ooh. That's very interesting. Deep and slow. Ooh. <laughs> okay, <keep it. laughs> We're done. <laughs> uh, we got a little bit more time left. Uh, if you'd like to go ahead and just make sure you know what you're doing. Here. All right, all right. Now we're going to get uh, to the hard part. <laughs> Nothing gets me more excited than surprises, especially when there's a gift involved. A 
tell me about your package and why I will like it. <laughs> Bachelor number one. I have a dick in a box. <laughs> I hope that doesn't put you off your appetite. No, not at all. <laughs> and bachelor number three, bring it home. All I can say is in my entire life, I ain't never known no one at home. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent answer. All right, next question. I'm quite adventurous when it comes to trying new foods. I enjoy different exotic flavors and textures. What's the strangest thing you've ever put in your mouth? Bachelor number three. 14th century vampires. <laughs> Are there pictures? <laughs> no, man. It's been a little before our time. Bachelor number two, same question. Troll bone, darling. Troll bone? It mm. keeps growing back again and again. <laughs> Dear Lord, you are just bringing it home. All right. Um, I'm not sure that your cheeks aren't turning the same color as your hair. Your cheeks match her hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love guns, uh, but I don't know how to handle them. Actually, I'm a little afraid of even touching them. How would you teach me to handle your gun in a way that would make me confident enough to shoot it off every day? Well, I can honestly say I'm probably the best gun sleeper at this table. <laughs> and for anything to go right, we'd have to start slow, take our time, and use all our hands. Oh, I like that. Bachelor number two. Well, of course, I want to teach you from behind. Transmogrified into water and wrapped completely around you so that I could show you how to uh, pump that shotgun. Ooh, that sounds enticing. Bachelor number one. Well, the important thing, I think, is how you use the right finger when you're going to cock the gun. <laughs> but assuming that you have that finger ready, I don't know. Can, can you show me that finger motion, actually? <laughs> Don't we all want to see that? Either. 
If my body was a living map, where would you place the you are here sticker and why? <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number three. Well, it would be my sincere hope that we'd have that little sticker in your heart. Bachelor number two, same question. I'd have to say at your throat. Water likes to flow the path of least resistance all the way through. Oh, I'm seeing a theme with you. Bachelor no, number so one. <laughs> Same question. Well, I have mentioned my directional challenges. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I would have to start at the top and just work my way slowly down until someone said, to fruits and vegetables. I find most men have a problem with this since they love to barbecue. How would you handle dating someone who won't eat your meat? <laughs> Bachelor number one. <laughs> Uh, 